Yum, yum! Moto Shader Tree is a unique and intuitive way to apply textures to your materials. It can, however, become difficult to read and visualize as more and more textures stack up in the mask. You can see here that we have a mix of images and procedural textures affecting many different channels on this nice yellow leather material. There's even multiple textures affecting the diffuse amount, specular amount, and roughness channels. While the shader tree is presented as a single list, it's easier to visualize how these textures apply values to the material channels if you visualize it more like a spreadsheet. While this is more human-readable, it takes up a great amount of space, so it's presented as a single stack to the user. Moto 16 gives us a method to organize these layers so they are more readable, making the material easier to visualize. You can just right-click on the mask and select Organize Effects, and Moto will group each layer of the same effect together and stack them in the same order they are presented on the material properties. You can see here we have Diffuse Amount, followed by Diffuse Color, followed by Specular Amount, Roughness, and Normal. The shader tree in Moto 16 will also show you the blending modes and opacity right there in the main list, both with an icon or with text if you expand it out. You can also click and drag to change the opacity of the layer, or click and click again to enter a value manually. Let's add another PBR texture on top of this one using the Load PBR option. With the mesh and EV map selected, as well as the mask you want the PBR images loaded into, we can load this white fabric material right on top of the leather, and the texture locators will be set to UV mapping automatically. You will notice that all the images share the same texture locator, so you can easily change UV tiling of all the images at once. Let's add one more roughness map with the aid of the Auto Set Effects toggle to automatically set the image map's effect to roughness when it's loaded into the shader tree. We can then right mouse click and organize our textures like we did before. Eventually, this should become an always on toggle so your textures are always organized. Lastly, let's pick a group mask image out of our preset browser to finish up this material. I can set the texture locator to planar, select the locator, and move and scale it to where I want it. Lastly, I can change the texture locator's calling to make sure it's only on the front of the duffel. Yum, yum!